Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and in this video I just want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 10147. This is a leaked version of the operating system and it has quite a few new changes since uh, the uh, build 10130. Uh, so let's get right into them. Alright, the first thing we're going to see it's uh, the new things that are, um, that are happening on the start menu. Now we can see that uh, File Explorer and all apps has um, they have uh, new icons. Now maybe we th we're not gonna get the chance to see it, but uh, the uh, Flip 3D that we used to see before on the operating system uh, it's back. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, I guess Microsoft's pushing forward to that. Now we're going to see also a new mail icon and a new music uh, icon on their uh, their uh, live tiles. Uh, the other change we're going to see is um, it appears that now it's not showing up but um, there is a new label when you install when you install a new app on your system and now that uh, that label is no longer blue it, it actually takes the color from the uh, Windows uh, theme that you're using in this case it will be uh, it would be green and you can see it right here but for some reason I install um, a few apps and the label doesn't appear any longer but it's expected uh, to be buggy because it's not the final version of the operating system um, alright so uh, there's no many changes on the start menu and that's uh, that's pretty much all of them also there is a new icon for the uh, contact support and there is also a new icon for the uh, camera app and um, also one other thing I want to show you is that it appears that you can open uh, multiple instances of calculator uh, before we uh, uh, we've seen this before in previous builds but um, I thought it was uh, a bug but it appears that you can actually do that so that's a good thing uh, to know so you can so you can open multiple calculators I don't know how many calculators do you need but um, I guess you can do that. So now also on, let's move on to uh, Cortana. Cortana now has a more simplified uh, pane, left pane, where you can see the, uh, the buttons that are not simplified. If you didn't enable, let me see if I can go to settings. Let me see how, I don't see the settings. Where do the settings go? Let me see if I got a notebook. Oh, you see right here on. Now it appears that I have to go to notebooks and go to settings to actually get into settings. I didn't see that before. But um, if you disable or you don't have enabled Cortana, you will see that now there is a new button of Cortana that says try Cortana because you can actually use the search box to search files on the web. But if you like the system of Cortana, you have to enable her. And now we get uh, this. Um, we seen this uh, initial setup, but it was with a black background, and now we have like a white background. So we agreed to that, and now we get Cortana, but we don't see the um, uh, access to settings. So which that's that's new. So I guess we have to go to notebooks, and that's where we get to. You know how you know you can change your your uh, your name and get access to settings. So I guess you get to access to settings like that now, and you can change all uh, various uh, various settings. You can configure the Hey Cortana right here, and and other things that uh, you may want to change. All right, so um, let's. Uh, that's pretty much all of it. That it's. Uh, new uh, on Cortana and now let's let's going to see the um, on the taskbar on the taskbar we can see now that we have new icons uh, representing apps and now we see that we see the icon but you they don't have a background and this is happening for the um, calendar and the mail app but other apps are still uh, showing the uh, uh, like a mini tile like my guess is that uh, this is the 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 new icons. That's the way apps 
are going to be designed but it's going to be the decision for the developer to implement the new icons or not if not it's going to show up by default like this all right so um also on um we can see now the jump list has been updated before it was all it had all uh, dark theme but now we can see a different background right here on file explorer and pin and that's different from the uh, pin items and, and frequent items so we're going to see that throughout all the apps so now we see now the, the, the lighter color of the theme uh, we're also going to see a new icon right here representing the uh, show hidden icons that's new uh, also on the date and time now has transparency in, in the blur and now it also takes a color from the uh, um, from the uh, uh, from from the theme that you're using on Windows um, we've seen that it takes the color but now it's more in previous view we've seen that it, it, it takes the color of the actual uh, Windows theme but now it's it looks a lot better than before all right, so uh, let's move along and let's see the let's see the action center. The action center now looks more complete. Also, we can see that uh, has the uh, blur, transparency, and the uh, dark theme. Um, it's it's less dark, and now we can see more through. So now it matches all the um, uh, all the transparency. And the dark theme from other elements on the uh, on the operating system. Uh, we all can also see that we have a third row of um, uh, quick access buttons, and now Microsoft is adding the um, access to OneNote right there from the quick access. There is a new icon from Quick Hours, uh, Quiet Hours, I mean, and there is a new icon for uh, Tablet Mode and Connect. So now you can see the action center actually looks much better and more complete, complete. and overall it, it, it works pretty well. So that's really nice to see uh, the, these changes. All right, so if we go to the desktop, we can see that uh, we right, we right click in the menu, we see that now display settings and personalize, they have different icons and those, those are new to the uh, uh, to this build. If we go inside of the um, uh, file explorer, we can see that quick access has new uh, new places pin, and now we can see we have desktop downloads, documents, pictures, music, and videos. Um, if we go to the uh, all control panel, and if we go to the default view, we can see that Microsoft is updating all the icons as well. And the um, I don't know if you noticed, but now when we highlight, when we go, when we hover over an element, we can see a more flat, flattened, um, uh, flattened colors, and the way it highlights is different. And Microsoft is trying to change this. This is how we used how we used to highlight. If you see now, when I highlight, you see the uh, the effect right there. Now it's changing it from a more flat, more Windows 10 like uh, view. As you, we can see moving through the elements on control panel. All right, so um, uh, another thing I wanted to show you if it's that uh, if we go to tablet mode, we can see. Let me see. If we can go back. We can see that now we have a uh, power button and all apps right there on the. Uh, on tablet mode, uh, let me turn, turn this off. And and we can access there. We can shut down quicker and get to all apps a lot faster instead of just having to make the trip up here and clicking the hamburger button to access the same settings. It's uh, it's it's all right. It's I think this is Microsoft still testing these uh, two buttons right here. They don't feel right yet. But um, I guess it's something that Microsoft is uh, is trying to to implement on 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 this build. All right, so we've seen this before that uh, the the, uh, the tiles get bigger and it looks more the uh, like the um, like the starter screen on Windows 8. 
we can also see that uh, we've seen this before but we get the back button so when we're inside of an app we can just move uh, uh, back or get out of the uh, the app more easily so there is no many changes on task view that's pretty much all it's new there so we're just gonna get out of there and let me see what else uh, what else do we have um, all right so now we can go to the settings app and there is no major changes you can see we can't activate this because this is a, this is a leak and there is no way to activate this right now so there is uh, settings that we cannot access to to see but there's no a lot of changes so um, I don't know if you noticed but now when we go through different settings there is a new effect as you can see right there which is really nice and and that's that's about it on the uh, on the on the settings part there is no much going on so that I think this is pretty much how it's going to look like when Windows actually uh, releases on July 29th um, also the uh, project Spartan has been renamed to finally to Microsoft Edge and now let me close that. It's that's an all post. Let me just go to just go to the home page. And now we see that um like I said now it has the name of uh, Microsoft Edge and now we have a new a new button, I mean a new icon for Habs. And we can see all the favorites, reading list, history, we've seen that before. Also, if we go to the settings, we can see that now there is a new effect to get to the uh, to the items on the menu. And if we go to settings, we also have a, a new dart theme that we can that we can choose and use if we like, which is really nice. Before we thought that uh, the dart theme or any other color that might appear, it was going to be based on the uh, on a website, but uh, apparently it's not. So um, so this is this is nice. So also on open width, there is a new start start page option that we can that we can set or you know we can just leave it as a default and we can specify one or multiple pages to start when when we do the open with alright so uh, now you can notice the uh, Microsoft Edge is version is version uh, 19 one zero uh, one four seven and that represents the uh, the 10 one four seven represents the uh, the bill of the operating system alright so uh, now we've seen this before but now we can we can go to the advanced settings and now this is an let me change I kinda like the dark theme but I'm used to the light theme so this is clear for you guys to see alright so um, on the advanced settings now Microsoft moved the um, show the home button option and block pop-ups right into advanced so you know we can we can add that and now we can even I didn't see this before but we can set the uh, the uh, the home button let me just uh, do ping com do that and then if we open a new tab then click home it will take us to Bing. that's really nice really nice alright so uh, let me see what else we have let's go to our advanced settings and so that's okay. I show you how to place the home button on the uh, on the bar and the block of the uh, block the pop-ups. Now we also have. Let me close the tab. Now on advanced settings, we also have. Uh, we're enabled to. Um, to enable or disable passwords so we can do that so it can save automatically or not and then if we go to manage uh, save password we can actually manage our passwords that uh, we have saved on the web browser 
let me let me show you really quick. Uh, I'm gonna blur this out because it does all my credentials, but um, but you can actually see how the man how the password manager uh, works. And then if we click the pencil, we can actually uh, edit, change the um, uh, you know your username, the URL, and password, and save the changes. And we can even let's see. We can even add our our own credentials to the uh, uh, to the password manager, which is really really nice. Uh, let me show you really quick because there is not many changes, but uh, in about flags. Now we can see the new icon, and it looks a little bit better. Here's where you will go to test new features that Microsoft is implementing into the. Um, into the web browser so uh, there is nothing new here but um, you know that's uh, actually the only thing that are new are the uh, the icons I believe alright so um, so those are all the new changes on, on Microsoft Edge now if you notice from from pre uh, from previous uh, version of uh, the web browser now the uh, the icons uh, they're black and before they were like kind of gray dark gray but I guess that's another change that's going on in here so that's pretty much every oh one thing I didn't show you is that uh, now on this bill we can actually grab a window I mean a tab and open a new window so we couldn't do that before let me see if I can place it back ah, I guess I can't once you get it out you can't you can you can just put it back it will actually create a new a new tab which is really annoying at this point you see that you're we're not allowed to do that we can't oh there you go oh maybe not alright so that's not working that's a work in progress we, we expect that it's this is a it's a leak version it's not even an official version of the beta so things like that's going to happen alright so uh, that's basically all that's new on the um, on Microsoft Edge but now also one last thing is that uh, when we close Spark, um, Microsoft Edge and we try to close it now we get a warning like before like in Internet Explorer that we're going to close uh, all the open tabs so we have to confirm that and you know you can change that setting also in on build 10 um, 147 we can see that um, we finally have the uh, phone companion app which Microsoft um, announced uh, sometime, in, uh, sometime in the past which is going to help users to get uh, any phone either from Android or iOS or iPhone, iPad more connected to, uh, to Windows 10 and as you can see it is now crashing on me but uh, but as you can see really quick you can see the uh, the title bar changes color as the uh, Windows color theme which is uh, which which is nice so we're going to be seeing more apps uh, taking advantage of all the uh, new uh, implementations on this new app model uh, the the app obviously doesn't work but uh, that's but it, but it's there now and we we know it's coming. Uh, also, we have a new uh, updated contact support, and as you can see, it has like a, a blue title bar, and what it appears to um, what appears to be happening here is that uh, developers will be able to choose to let Windows take control of the color of the title bar, or they can set their own their own colors. So right here in the contact uh, support you can actually uh, this actually working you can actually if you have an issue you can contact technical support 
and ask for to schedule a call or chat with the uh, Microsoft Answer Tech. All right, so uh, that's basically everything that's new on on this bill. Uh, we didn't expect to see these many changes or tweaks, and because we knew that Microsoft was pretty much done with the operating system, but now we're going we're, we're seeing uh, good refinements and and probably we're gonna see more until uh, Microsoft finally releases uh, Windows 10 uh, later on July. Well, uh, if there is any more changes, I'll make sure to let you know. I hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.